So <clears throat> we're going to do a quick review on some Walmart pants. These are George brand boot cut and they were bought as work jeans. Right? So to have a cheap alternative for work jeans because everything's so expensive today, uh, especially clothes, man, Clo Wranglers and all those are up in price. I mean, unless you get them from Walmart, um, they're a little cheaper somehow. They have somehow they have an exclusive deal or something where their version is a little bit cheaper than other versions. Now that's not for all lineup of clothes, you know, pants and stuff, but for some. And so I found that you can only get some only exclusively at Walmart. And that's just weird, but that's the way that it is. It kind of is the same with, uh, you know, electronics and other things that are made exclusively for a certain store. But <clears throat> to buy a cheap alternative to jeans and pants and all is really getting expensive. And I know these are probably made out of, like, recycled garbage. But you got to have something um, to wear if you're going to work, you know, and or, or get out and about. And so these, um, you know, it's already hard to find old-fashioned men's jeans that were originally cut like uh, like back when men had real testosterone uh, nowadays you know they're not really going for that kind of look anymore you know they don't, they don't care but uh, the biggest reason I think is so that you have it you know it's really a personal preference so I'm just gonna leave it alone I'm not gonna say much more about it other than I'm gonna do the review on these jeans um, and when I say review I'm gonna point out some problems that I found because I, I, I bought these so that I could use them for work, like I said, and um, and they put a the little happy sticker on it, so you're not, you know, they know you didn't steal it. But I bought these for, uh, like I said, a cheap work alternative, and um, and I've been, you know, I'm used to good clothes. I've been used to good clothes for most of my life. I had to pick out good clothes or be a critic of some type of clothes and how they fit you know I'm not just a person who would wear anything um, and these would certainly be disposable to me and they wouldn't be good jeans to me um, but they would be something acceptable however there are some parts that I have to show you that I didn't like at all and um, I'm debating whether some of these should go back because of that let's see if this makes me a liar on camera because when you try them on there is a totally different uh, uh, other than the appearance that you have here there's a different fit to each one of them like there's no quality control and that's kinda scary the last time I remember going to a place with no quality control was in the 90s and it was Old Navy it was like every one of the shirts had a different size sleeve well this one I've tried the ones on underneath and I got the happy faced ones to distinguish the difference between the two from some reason I believe that this pair is a different size than these two pair and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about it's almost like one of them has a gimpy leg set up for something with like a gimp leg a or longer something. leg? yeah it's just weird like these are just not something that I that is not something that I like in clothes at all especially not when you're trying to wear something that's a little bit thinner but not skinny jeans I don't think anybody likes that. Right. Well, not not baggy, not skinny, but not skinny jeans. See, these have to be f kind of form fitting, but but only for um, safety purposes. So you don't want these things flapping around, getting caught in any industrial uh, type things. You don't want them flapping around and getting caught in and and you know, and in, in anything that you're working around. There's a, there's a reason for that, and that's what you want to look for in a work jean. Most people uh, that used to work when I you know back in the old days when we worked right so um when we didn't just punch keys on a computer you know let's see no offense to anybody that does you know just that all right here what do we got this is inches right yep this poor thing's all stretched out let's see let's try right here at the crotch line right right there let's stretch these jeans out a little bit and see what we get and now remember, these are stretched jeans. They have like a little give to them or something. So, right here at the line, at that crotch line stop, this is approximately, okay, that's straightened out, 32 and a half, right? Right at the end of it. Right. Okay. Now, that, that's the ones with the happy face. Okay. Now these jeans are 32, 
34, sorry, 34, 32, right? 34, 32. And so, if you wear this size jean, uh, celebrate now because when you get older, you get bigger. So, um, some people do. So, I'm saying appreciate whatever you have now uh, for body type because it doesn't get any easier the older you get. I'm sure there are lots of people in here that are watching this video that could say that. It's just part of the breaks of getting older. Right, let's see. Where did I start from the other one, right? Cross line. Yep. Okay. Okay, so this one's 33, right? Yeah. So it's a little longer. So it's a half inch longer. And let's check this leg. It's so weird. Uh, some of the, the pants themselves are longer in general. It's weird in the way that they fit. See, and that's a little less. Yeah, right? That's like 32 and a quarter. Well, what I'm saying is is that I noticed one leg was slightly longer than the other as it sits on the boot. Right? Because mm -hmm. you have a pair of boots on, you have boot cut like this, and you have your pant legs doing that. And some of the cuffs are bigger. Right? So one of the cuffs was bigger because it was going down under the boot like that. See, these pair are right on the borderline of like, don't like, because they're too big. The other, these are George's, by the way. They're, they've been washed and used quite a bit. These are brand new. So there were, there are some that are tighter like that. And they only drop down the boot right here. Those are nice. They fit right. And they don't cause a tripping hazard. And they won't wear out on the bottom. But these are all the same variant the, and size. Exactly style. the same size. Exactly the same type. Exactly the same size. So that's just one pair. Here's, here's a pair that I took. Let's make sure that they are 30. I already showed that, right? Yep, 34, 32. 34, 32. Okay. That's the ones we just did again of the wrong size. That's the ones over there that have the happy face that are more or less the right size in order. And then here's a pair that are just as weird that are big and floppy down here at the bottom. Again, that I just took the tags off of and left inside. By the way, we're filming outside right now, inside of a work vehicle. Um, look here, again. 34, 32, George again, right, not washed, so there's no discrepancy about, did they shrink, did they change, okay. We could also measure cuff, cuff width. Yeah, later. that's going to be really boring for people to watch, but you know what, if they're on here watching jeans and they want to know, so what is the long story short with these Georges? Do you, do you, get, do you not buy them? No, because they're like $17 a pair. Cheap. Really cheap, I mean, cheap enough to buy, to throw away if they get messed up. See, these are almost 33, right? If I try to straighten them out, okay, 30, almost 33. Now let's let's keep it right there at the same distance at that at that little crotch part. Crotch center seam. Yeah, the center seam. Um, let's pull it tighter. Ooh, it's longer. Look at that. Yeah, but it's ridiculous. Look, much longer. Wait, hold on, let me make sure. Look. Center seam. Watch it. Don't want centimeters. Inches. All right. Look. What is the darn deal, right? Thirty-three. Say, I'm not buying thirty-three length pants. I'm looking. I'm looking, I'm looking for the thirty-two, right? Right. So just having a longer. What? The problem is, is the legs bunch up at the bottom, and then this part right here is extra wide. Slips up on your boot. Well, they bunch up at the bottom, and they get real, uh, they get in the way real quick. Okay. Eight wide, but see, I didn't measure how far up the leg. Let's just do, let's just do the boot cut period, right? So which ones are these? These are the, the Georges that have the tags removed. Right. But are still the right Still to the right. Blue Still the 34, 32 cut. Right. Okay. So let's just check it. All right. In the end, 
Let's, let's just not play around. Nine and a half. Right? Right. Nine and a half in the end. What do we got here? Another pair. These are the pair that have the... Nine. Nine in the end. See? Yep. I mean, am I doing something wrong here? I mean, these things are... No, there's no quality control. And this reminds me of, like I said, Old Navy in like 1999, 2000. You know, where all the shirts were made in Mexico and the quality control was off because some sleeves would be bigger than the other. And so here we go again with these. And I'm not sure where they're made. I don't know. Mexico. If they're... Really? Made in Mexico. I didn't even look at that. Jeez. Okay. okay, I'm not bashing anything that's made in Mexico. I'm just saying, if you're going to use these George jeans, my advice to you would be to try them on in a fitting room and then go out. I know that's kind of silly, if you, especially if you're buying them for a gift or if you're a working person and you're just trying to get in and get out, because that's me. I just want to get in the store and get the heck out. And I got, and I buy these in bulk. These are uh, definitely not style jeans. No, these, these, these jeans, are, we're going to have to figure out what to do with them. Like, if, if they're bearable, then I'm going to have to bear with them. But if I'm looking for something that fits right every time, this is not them. You know? Um, you know, Ariat or Levi or something like that, totally different. You know, some Levi's have poor quality control, um, especially recently since they kind of... The modern signatures? Yeah, they kind of just went to a different kind of format for a minute, you know? We'll see if, if it stays that way, but yeah. And... Like, like I just showed you in the legs, there are other problems with these jeans. They just don't fit in other areas they're supposed to fit in the right way, okay? Like the waist. I think one of these pairs, this one right here that I tried on, that is not this one that has the tag removed, but this one that still has all the tags on it that says 34. This waist right here is a th almost a 36 waist. Let's try it. Okay. Now remember, this is a stretchable stretchable deal right that means if anything it's probably supposed to be under now it's hard to it's measure it's it's hard to measure a waist because you never get exact exact amount if i go sideways like this this is only half of what the measurement should be i'm supposed to do the circumference to make a waist gotcha. get it so it's not that damn easy but yeah i mean now remember these things are stretchy so it's kind of hard to say hey you know, I guess that's part of the breaks of buying jeans that are stretched material. You're going to get some that are big and some that are small. Right? So yeah. that's probably the drawback. Yeah, I, I, it's almost impossible for me to Can't measure, measure waist. But, but what, what I can do is this. I probably can put these things flat and take the ones that I thought fit the best. Uh, out of this bunch. By the way, I have others that fit a lot better than all this. But out of, out of this bunch, I, I got like a control pair right here, right? This would be the control test pair. Yeah. So in the control test pair, the waist would be, let's, let's face it to me here. All right. I'm spreading it out without any overstretch. Just laying it flat. Let's see what we got in the end, right? What we got? 17 and a half? Yep. Look, just about. Look. Okay. That was control pair. Now let's try this. I think people get the picture. I mean, if they're going to look to buy jeans and a cheap have a cheap alternative like this. By the way, these bleed. Yes, they do. Bleed when you first wash them and the second time you wash them. I have personal they, experience with those they, too. They bleed the first and the second time. So you got to wash these twice before you're done. And mix them in with other clothes. Right. And they, after about the eighth to tenth wash, they start fading to the point where they're not very decent looking, you know, uh, dark wash anymore. They're more of a light color. So, like I said, these are very... Economy. Yeah, they're very economy and very temporary. If you're a gene, you know... Like, I wouldn't go out to, uh, you know... I don't even know if people go out anymore. But if you were to go out to anywhere, you know, I definitely wouldn't try to wear them out to any... 18, almost. Yeah. Jeez, See, I'm okay. Yeah, I told you, you, man. It's, they're like... 
been That's weird. not stretched. Yeah, why don't you take a solid picture so you can be like, I wonder if you can stand in here and take a picture this way so we can put it on a thing. As a thumbnail? Yes. I have to do it after. All right, well, we're done with the video. I just wanted to show y'all what we're looking at here. Yeah. Yeah, these are almost 18. Temporary. Well, that's not the point. The point is, is you have to, you have to be careful about which ones you buy. They're all different. Um, I'm find yourselves a good pair out of what they got in the store. Yeah, but this is just my size. Imagine all the other sizes out there and how different they are. Uh, true. You know, because I, I bought them in bulk and I tried one pair on, and the next day I tried another pair on, and I and I thought something was wrong. I thought I either uh, lost too much weight or something had changed, and so I tried another pair on and and it was different and, uh, and each pair I tried on was slightly different but there are some that are just unacceptable and these are part of the ones that are unacceptable so you, you got to you know get in, get in that get in that uh, what you call it if you care about this kind of thing and uh, don't buy what you don't what you can't use and uh, I guess that's the, the, uh, the end of this video this is just a quick review on jeans of all things I said I was gonna do things that I bought and here we go so let's do it let's get let's get all the reviews we can get done um, they might as well help people out so that they don't spend their money in the way you know without knowing better all right thank y'all